Hey guys, it's Dr. Deuce back again with another great set of music tech tips for you. Now in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to ensure that you avoid distortion in your production, making sure that your levels are all nice and clean and your final mix will have a great sound. Let's get started. Okay, so just in case you were not sure what was wrong with the playback, both visually and sonically, I'll go through and explain to you uh, the main issues here. Now, whenever you're working in any recording software application or even on hardware devices, anytime you see red lights flashing, generally that means something's not right. And that's what we've got here. Look at the master um, stereo out. We've got um, seven point one and that's the clip level that we've gone into the red we've gone into distortion i'm just going to play back the track once again um, and you'll see we'll just scan across and you'll see what's going on look at this up here showing red over here here now these two are duplications of the same channel so what does that mean that means that we've got too much signal going through this that the levels are too high now when i work with a lot of students um, what they tend to do is if they're struggling to hear um, when they're producing uh, maybe the, the the levels aren't loud enough what they generally do is they bump up the master level all the way up to plus 6 db and they push the stereo the master stereo output fader up and that way they tend to think well yeah great it sounds nice and loud in their headphones and um, they're programming away but that's the worst thing um, you want to be doing if the levels aren't loud enough for you using your headphones that is turn up the headphones on the hardware device not in the software so rule number one make sure that both of these faders are set to zero db so to do this you can pull them down like so or a quick way is to hold down the alt or option key and click and that will automatically reset them to zero db the other thing you want to do is make sure that everything else is playing back at a reasonable level i mean you've got some main drums here which are all the way up here everything's just too loud okay let's run that again uh, again we've got too much going through even though we've got the um, master and stereo out faders at 0 dB we're still overloading by 2.2 decibels we're still clipping and that's no good and especially you know you want to be able to leave some headroom for when you go to mastering um, so this is no good rule number two the second thing you've got to watch out for is um, and a lot of guys do this and just be mindful of this let's play this back again So a lot of guys, what they do is they think, okay, well, it's overloading by 2 dB. What we're going to do is use the stereo um, out fader and pull that back until it goes down below the clipping point. Let's do this. Okay, yeah, it's looking great now, isn't it? But not not good not good at all i mean i'm, I'm going to pull it back to about let's say about minus six let's see what we've got here okay so that probably looks like everything's fine so we've got a peak of minus 3.6 on the master out that's not any good to us the reality is the sum of all of the instruments being played back are still distorting pulling this down doesn't stop the distortion all this is doing is reducing the level of signal traveling out the distortion is actually being created by the mess of levels that we've got set up across the whole mixer so don't fool yourself into thinking that you've created headroom and you've created space um, by doing this just keep your master and your stereo out at zero db fix 
everything that's going wrong from within the actual production so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to kill all of these volumes and i'm going to build it up the mix again from scratch allowing myself headroom without having to use a limiter or anything like that to control peaks i'm just going to create uh, a nice balanced mix um, in terms of levels so that there is enough room um, for mastering and a nice spread of levels across the whole mix okay now by quickly rebalancing things bringing down the really loud parts and maybe bringing up the quiet bits a bit um, it's in a way I'm sort of compressing the sound um, I've now got a much more balanced um, mix and I've got no distortion on the um, stereo out as you'll see in a second and I will have lots of headroom all I've done in terms of volume in my cans I've turned up the headphone level on my hardware device and it sounds great um, let's have a quick listen Okay, so finally, the three main things that you need to watch out for when you're uh, when you're preparing to mix down your track, or even when you're working through, you know, this is stuff that this sort of thing you want to be doing as you're producing your track. Make sure that the master fader and the stereo out fader are both at zero dB. So hold down your Option or Alt key and click to reset. Bang. Okay, those are the first things. The next thing is make sure that if you're still clipping on the stereo bus, even though these are both set to zero dB, don't try to compensate by pulling down this fader. It doesn't actually help your mix. What you wanna do is make sure the volumes across your entire mix are set at a reasonable level. And finally, make sure that when you are finished your mix before you go to mastering, that there's enough headroom for your mastering engineer to work with. I generally allow about four to five dB of headroom. Some people allow more, some less, but that's my guide. So hopefully you've learned something from this tutorial. As usual, do remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And um, it's always great hearing from you. Until next time, take good care of yourself. This is Dr. Deuce, peace.